Come on. Get them shackles off him. Poor son can't eat proper. But I like that. What if he runs for it? He's worth a heap of coin. Ah, bollocks. Been all in him a week, hasn't tried a thing. Why are you up and bold now? Matter of fact, got to thinking. What did a sweet, gentle chap like him do to get the Queen of Zedicania so riled? She's a shrew, that's a queen and witch in one. <laughs> Worst of both worlds. Look about her. What do you say to one more of your tiles? While we toss down some cards. Ah, why not? And since you mentioned one queen... The year 1267, war hung in the air, it sent palpable. The mighty empire of Nilfgaard stood poised, greedily eyeing the northern realms just across the Yaruga. In light of the threat, the realm sovereigns met in summit. They made declarations, pledged fraternal assistance, forged alliances, and then, in good spirits, dispersed. Among them, Meave, Queen of the twin realms Lyria and Rivia. Know the name? Hmm? Heard her beauty extolled? <laughs> Justly so. Remarkable she was. Not for her graceful exterior, but for her persistence and courage. Where was I? Ah. As the Queen and her retinue neared her capital, Count Caldwell appeared. In Meave's absence, the Count was to have helped her son, the youthful Prince Willem run the Twin Kingdoms. Caldwell had clearly ridden hard. Drops of perspiration dangled from his whiskers, his neck red and chafed from a rough, starched stiff. Hail, Your Majesty. Delighted to see you in good health. The summit, it ended fruitfully, I hope? Yes, at its end, letters were exchanged, documents signed, paper. Time will tell of what value. That will suffice as cordialities go, Caldwell. Tell me what's happened, for I sincerely doubt sheer longing prompted you to ride out. Indeed, Your Grace. Another circumstance inspired me to do so. <clears throat> The strays of Sparla, the bandits, I was attend to during Your Grace's absence. The situation's gotten out of hand, I fear. Steady, Caldwell. Come now. Deep breath. All right, speak. What has happened? Be precise. As Your Grace ordained. I set out and was nipping at the bandits' tails for long. We pursued for weeks, until scouts returned, having sighted the strays camp in the forest near Lockeran. We waited for nightfall, to surprise them as they slept. Uh... Alas, it proved a ruse. We found the tents empty. Straw-stuffed dummies around the fire. Soon, we learned that as we waited for the sunset, the strays had snuck away, rounded our positions and ridden to Hawksburn. I beg your pardon, my lord. The tax collectors. That is where they station. So the gold? All of it? Uh, it's stolen, your grace. But I shall do all in my power to recover it. This I vow. If it be your grace's wish. After weeks in the saddle, your grace's wishes are modest. 
a hot bath and a night's sleep in her own bed. Yet, they shall have to wait. I must look personally to this matter. Your force, Coldwell, I will now command. You, send a herald to Hawksburn. They must prepare for the Queen's arrival. Air the rooms, dust off the porcelain. Make certain they do it. Do you see now, Reynard? I believe I foretold it would be thus. My son wasn't ready in the least to rule an entire country. I confess, Prince Willem has much to learn yet. Hmm, yes. And very little time. <laughs>